Hello and welcome to Dreams of Wings and welcome here to Walney Island Airport, formerly RAF Walney. Used to be an air gunnery school, but we're not, not going to be doing anything like that. We are going to be saving lives. We're going to be going out there into the Lake District, into some beautiful scenery. Look, even Ducks with the Dog is uh, is looking ready for it. Very happy chappy is too laying in the sun there. Good to see him back. We're going to be taking the Hype Performance Group H145 Plus Action Pack Expansion uh, on a Random and Anywhere mission, or HEMS Random and Anywhere. Now, that's a free mod. It's absolutely fantastic. It's by uh, Davi Aerosoft. It's on flightsim.to. Uh, if you are a regular with the channel, you've probably seen me live streaming it and, uh, and also flying it in videos but it absolutely transforms uh, what you do because it's allowing you to, no surprise there, fly random and anywhere missions. So you don't know where you're gonna end up, which I think is just absolutely brilliant idea. So we are gonna be doing that. We'll take a random mission and uh, hopefully it should be of interest to you. We're testing a few uh, new versions. So for example, we've got the 490 version, which is the latest beta of the H145, so it's always good to get to to know that. I've had to make some changes recently since I uh, got stick extensions. I've had to change some of my flying settings uh, or the sensitivities rather in the tablet on the H145, but I think I'm getting to a place now where they feel uh, they feel really good. And it's just such a beautiful helicopter. This is the helicopter that made me fall in love with helicopters in uh, in Microsoft Flight Simulator. Um, it's just great fun. It's very different to the Spitfire or anything like that I normally fly, um, but it's just wonderful. Anyway, I'll stop waffling. Let's get Duxford out of the way and let's get flying. All right, Duxford is safely tucked away now. He's uh, gone for a nap in the main building. He's enjoyed the sun out here. He's had a bit of a feed. He doesn't need to hang around. It's a dog's life, as they say. Anyway, we need to uh, get cracking. So uh, let's get some power into the aircraft. And get some lights on, just so that everyone knows things are going to start spinning around. Uh, let's have the tablet. We'll turn the radio on, because we're going to need that to connect and get the uh, mission up and running. Now, uh, something that you can do that uh, I wasn't aware of is that we can uh, we can also select who we uh, the name of who we're talking to on the radio. So I'm just going to wait for this to uh, cycle through. Uh, we'll go to maps and missions, and we will go boom and random and everywhere. Get that up and running. Quick look down here. So what have we got? So uh, we'll go to, I presume that's group. We will talk to them. Uh, wrong one, it's that one, isn't it? There we go. Talk to them and connect that up. It says connecting. Have a look over here. That should change very shortly. I'm just gonna change that. And uh, oh, we got a bicycle accident with bicycle involved. Okay, let's accept. Cabin preparation. Please wait. Chaps are doing their thing in the back now. And while that's uh, while they're doing their thing, let's get this started. Right. So prime pumps on. Preparing for engine starting sequence one two. I thought you were going to start doing some poetry there, Sunshine. Cabin preparation completed. Okay, thank you, chaps. There we go. One of the things you'll notice is that the repaint uh, flying suits don't match the... Area clear. Ready to start engine one. ...the animation walking around flying suits. So we'll just pretend he's done a quick change. Yeah. 
using the uh, M. Gonzalez sound pack, by the way, you might notice a few difference. Is just thought I'd give it a try. Engine clear. Okay, let's get number two going. Have a look at the uh, our instruments. We're going to assume that we've done the main checks of the day, by the way, so this is an abbreviated checklist. Cosby is an emergency and all that. Just preempting all the people saying, "Oh, you didn't do this. You didn't do that." All engines started successfully. Thank you, my friend. I just love the way he struts around like he owns the place. Right, so we uh, can do that. We can now come back up here. We can have transfer pumps on, prime pump off, that my battery on, avionics all on, DC receipt on. We'll have the uh, ETOs on, LAVCS to pilot. Okay, all good. And strobe, and let's have the landing light on. Quick look around just to check that I haven't forgotten anything. Don't need the instruments on, or instrument lights on rather. That's so good. That's so good. Boom, boom. Get all those set up. Toss system test. Okay. That's okay. Happy with that. Close that. And what do we got? Everything else is fine. So let's engines to flight. And then we can start doing our flying thing. Motor RPM will go out. There we go. Both MFDs and on there as well. Excellent. That's what we like to see. Let's pop that over there. That's all good. Right. Is everybody ready? Concentrate on doing the flying thing now. Multiplayer on, so I do need to be a little bit careful. Up, up, and away. Now I'm actually quite interested to see uh, what the Lake District looks like since I put the Orbex mesh in. I've not been here uh, since I installed that, so this could be quite interesting. Now we're all looking, everything's good, we're on track. Don't sink. Oh. Do you know, I always say to myself, why the hell don't I remember to switch that thing off at the beginning? Flying around uh, hilly country in a helicopter with the tours on is going to be a pain in the neck. So let's just quickly 
engage the autopilot. There we go. The computer is now flying us, and let's go in here very quickly and turn you off. look outside we're not going to bump into anything that would be a bit embarrassing wouldn't it uh, so why did you crash into the ground well actually I had my head down in the cockpit and I was uh, I was turning the terrain uh, avoidance system off wasn't I right let's uh, have control of the aircraft back please mr. computer there we go I do absolutely love doing this sort of thing. Um, and this is such a clever, clever little mod that uh, Daviera Soft has done, or Andrew, or Andrea. He's a very clever chap, and uh, quite incredible that this is free. But it adds such a, another layer to flying PEMS operations in the H145. Uh, normally I'd be streaming this kind of thing, but I very cleverly deleted all my stream presets and all that sort of thing accidentally in OBS. So uh, I'm uh, doing it as a video for this one because uh, I still can't quite muster up the enthusiasm to rebuild all my OBS bits and bobs. But, uh, yeah, it, you can easily lose a few hours flying random mission after random mission, but don't worry, we're not going to be doing that. We're going to be doing it this way. Lake District looking beautiful. So let's have a quick look at dispatch, see what we got. So we've got a 62 years old male, accident with a bicycle involved, police traffic, uh, arrived on location, symptoms, amputated leg, jeez, okay, he's not having a good day. mean to press that. Let's, uh, there we go, let's put the head tracking on lock. Let's watch where we're going as well, that would be quite good. So, uh, here we have got our, we've got our uh, condition. Zero being your brown bread, a hundred being what the hell are you doing getting into my helicopter pretending to be sick? And this chap is 33. Well, I'm not really surprised after having his leg cut off in whichever way. Um, so yeah, he's, uh, he's going to be a tricky one. He is going to need some looking after, that's for sure. Right. Oh, you guys are ready in the back there. So this is the uh, this is the latest build. So there might be a few different things, and I'm just looking at the map there and noticing already it does look a wee bit different. So uh, we'll have a look anyway. We will find an ambulance not far away from accident site. They are unable to reach the site. Okay, so again, this is one of the, the cool things that uh, this uh, throws at you, in different scenarios. So what looks like is going to happen in this flight is that we're going to have to land, pick up the casualty, and I suspect take him to the ambulance so that the ambulance can take him to hospital. Uh, it's not always as straightforward as just uh, picking up the casualty and... Um, Heading, 500. Off, heading off. Sometimes it'll ask you to do something different, as it is in this case. 
What do you think? You know, I sent him on a uh, interpersonal skills course a couple of weeks ago, and uh, yeah, he's still sulking about it. Possible hospital destination for our patient. Info available on tablet. Ah, okay. Confirm or change later. So we are going to be going to hospital. Obviously, the ambulance can't make it to the casualty, which means it's in a uh, pretty difficult to get to location. So I think I can see the smoke flare up ahead. Looks like there's a fair amount of trees around there. So it'll be interesting to see. Uh, Two nautical miles from accident area. Be interesting to see what this throws up. So tempting, isn't it? Just into the foothills of the lakes. We could leave him and we could just go sightseeing. What do you reckon, fellas? All right, no, they're not interested. Mission focused, that's what I like to see. That's what every uh, aircraft commander wants of their crew, mission focused. Okay, let's have a look. So we've got the flare. I'm gonna close the tablet just so we've got as much visibility as we can get out of the window. And Rear crew, we are approaching the landing site. And I want to make sure that uh, we get close to the scene as well. This poor chap is uh, sans leg, as they say. That's uh, medical speak for you. Don't want to baffle you too much with the lingo. But uh, we need to get close. Where's the wind? The wind is over there, so we can just come overhead. There's the flare, there's the ambulance, so I'm going to try and put it down there. So let's come round. this point wishing I'd got the uh, hover mode teed up on the display just to help with that but I forgot to do that okay there we go right so I'm gonna go just past the smoke and get us in there just having to fight the aircraft a little bit there. I'm holding in trim release, by the way, which makes life a lot easier. But the aircraft was uh, wanting to kind of do its own thing there a little bit. A little bit like a horse. You decided, do you know what, mate? I know you want to go that way, but I'm going to do this a little bit. Anyway, I need to shut up. So that's where I'm heading for, just past the smoke, you can almost see a circular piece of grass. Let's keep it going. Close. I should hope so, matey. There we go. And we're down. Let's have both engines to idle. Let's pop the uh, open. There we go. Let's pop outside. Hopefully they'll all jump out and go and save it. Rear crew, prepare for ground operations. Yes, well done, lads. Well done, lads. You made me proud.
Here we go. Door open. Medic number one. Reporting for duty, sir. Just waiting for medic number two. So, there we go. Just packing a few more plasters there. That's it, boys. Come on, let's find him. Right, where's our casualty? I can hear him. Oh, there he is. All right, sunshine. Oh, dear. Well, yeah, there's his bike. His bike's looking... Uh, too bad. He's definitely uh, he's definitely in a bit of pain there. Local uh, constabulary just sitting in the car, having a chat, talking about what was on Netflix last night. I do can't blame him. Probably a bit tired of his whinging. There's our brave boys going over to have a look now. But uh, this fella lurking in the bushes. Oh, excuse me, sir. Are you in any way responsible for uh, what happened here? There's the lads working on him. So what this is uh, going to simulate also is the time taken to do it. So if we pop back into the helicopter. What I should really be doing now, of course, is closing the helicopter all the way down. Strictly speaking, we'd be doing a complete shutdown. And if I was streaming it, um, that's probably what I'd be doing right now. But uh, I'm trying to uh, keep this video as short as I possibly can, just to test a few things. But uh, but yeah, I, I know that um, I know that really we should be shutting it down. But we'll keep the engine in idle, and then we can have a look here. It's just going to keep us updated. So um, uh, ground operations in progress, helicopter area clear, operations may take a while. So it's going to simulate the time that it takes for the lads to work on the patient and stabilise them and uh, get them ready to to go if we click on here see if we've got any more information nothing really on there if we go onto the medical diagnostics page uh, patient has now been assigned emergency code one which means immediate risk of death that's the kind of thing that is a little bit scary um, he's unconscious you see these are updating as the uh, medical crew work patient life signs are fading yeah so critical code one We've got the uh, heart rate here, 34 uh, beats per minute, and uh, we've got our oxygen level as well. Uh, I don't know what that means. 93.7% for me, gut feels pretty good. Um, to anyone uh, medically trained, they're probably looking at that thinking, listen, mate, that's not good at all. What are you talking about? But I'm just a pilot. I'm just, I'm just the bus driver. We'll let the medical guys have a look at that. But it's great that you get this feedback. It's great that you can see uh, what is actually going on. So let's pop back to there. Uh, oh, our doctor's now said estimated ground operation time, four minutes. So again, it really is, um, it's, it's simulating that time to work on the patient, which is actually very immersive. Oh, are we, uh, we getting the stretcher, lads? Yeah, so they've come to get the stretcher. Um, so yeah, it's all these things that add to the immersion. So if you imagine you're doing this on your own instead of watching a video, um, then um, you're going to be, you're going to feel part of the part of the scene, which is really clever, really cool. Um, keep out in the or keep a look out in the future for some live streams uh, where we'll be doing maybe two or three three of these, one after the other, and uh, other people join as well, which is a good time to say there is a discord it used to be the dreams of wings discord it's not the dreams of wings discord anymore it's called the aerodrome and the reason why it's not the dreams of wings discord anymore is that it really became much more about the community of people who are into airplanes helicopters and all that sort of thing uh, there's group flights on there screenshots um, there's a photography section and even a kit building section but it's mainly about people that love airplanes and helicopters uh, especially warbirds and GA and that sort of thing. Not a huge amount of airliner stuff on there, um, but uh, but that's why it's now called the Aerodrome. 
because it's nothing to do with um, just selecting that. It's nothing to do with uh, you know with the Dreams of Wings uh, YouTube channel. Apart from the fact that I'm there lurking around, and um, yeah, I think it's really cool. It's a great community, really nice bunch of people. Um, and I don't know how I got onto that subject, but there's a reason I got onto it, which I can't quite remember because I've been waffling. But anyway, yeah. Oh, I was talking about the group flights, wasn't it? Yeah, so, uh, sorry, the, the live stream. So, sometimes in the past, uh, people from the Discord channel have, even though they can't see the assets that are being used in the mission, they've, uh, they've come along for the flight as well, because you never know where you're going to end up. And if you fly two or three missions, you could really cover quite a large area. And it's just a nice surprise, rather than having a, you know, a pre-plan, this is where we're going to go, this is definitely where we're going to end up, kind of thing. Anyway, so we're going to uh, Furnace General Hospital. So let's just have a quick look where that is. That's not too far. On board. Take care. That's not too far at all. That's pretty much where we uh, where we came from. So we've got the patient on board now. <coughs> I missed that an uh, animation to show you, but they will literally wheel him over and uh, whack him in the back. That's another medical term for you um, cabin secure ready to fly just in case you've not heard that before whack them in the back that's how we roll right both engines to flight let's have a look over here engine one engine two all looking good that's fine quick look over here that's all good to go. We've got our clearance from the back. We'll just wait for the RPM to uh, settle. It's off on the MFDs, just waiting for it to go off on the enunciator pedal. There we go, that's off. Right, let's go. Sunshine, we'll get you back. Engine one, engine two, all looking good. Engine three, Good head of steam up. Now we've got uh, a wind farm over there, so we don't want to be whacking into that. So we'll just come over this way a bit. So as we're flying now, just because we've got the patient on board doesn't mean that everything is tickety-boo. In fact, uh, far from it, the, the patient, although he's had excellent care from the chaps in the back, the patient uh, could well be deteriorating. And uh, as we travel, this is why we can't dilly-dally. We've got to make sure that we give a uh, comfortable ride, as it were, but also we've got to make sure that we give give it all the beans to get there in time. After all, that's why they're using us, because we're quick. So we just need to keep an eye on that. But the crew will inform us if, uh, if anything untoward happens. And I have had it a few times in this now where the crew will tell you you've got to land so that they can perform CPR. And that always makes it uh, exciting when you have to do that. And also, kind of uh, shows you, oh, watch we don't over talk, also shows you what the uh, the real crews of these helicopters have to do. And uh, I make these videos and I do this flying very much, uh, there's obviously uh, an element of humour to it, my uh, pure sense of humour, 
but also with a huge amount of respect to anybody who does this for real because uh, I cannot begin to imagine the pressure on a pilot uh, to operate the aircraft in a safe and correct manner flying it by the book all that kind of stuff with the pressure of someone in the back who is in a serious state and uh, potentially about to become a fatality and the same for the medical crew they're you know they they are obviously on a hems helicopter like this they're they're obviously emergency medical crew uh, they're highly trained highly experienced but they're not at a hospital they don't have access to the full hospital facilities they've got what's on board the aircraft let's not over talk sunshine um, and they do an amazing job they really do so I'm just trying to get that balance between flying uh, as fast as I can as smooth as I can and without over talking the helicopter and uh, just contouring around this high ground a little bit and watching out for those uh, wires on the right hand side because that would be rather embarrassing to uh, prang into those in fact I'm just going to hop over here there we go tutty bye there's the wind farm or I should say there's a wind farm there's lots of them up this way Lake District really is a beautiful area I must come here I drive past it quite a lot on the way up to Scotland but uh, it's been a long time since I've actually come here for a visit and we've only seen a tiny fraction of it on this flight if I had more time I would take us deeper into it and maybe uh, we are well due a uh, helicopter tour of the Lake District Andrew if you're watching this and I'm talking Lake District Andrew maybe that's what we need to do mate you fly a spit, I'll fly a helicopter. <laughs> okay, so hospital coming up. Uh, I don't know what it's going to present as. We will see. Sometimes you get a nice baked in landing pad. Uh, sometimes you don't. So uh, we'll see what we get. start coming back on the power a little bit well that's looking quite promising for a start nice big building destination in sight medical crew is ready on landing spot There, I can see an H. Superb. Right, let's get rid of that. Where's the Le Vault? So, we really need to get control. There we go. We really need to uh, set down there. And that's actually quite nice. We're into wind now. Control again holding on the trim release. Unfortunately the uh, the ground medical crew are actually here. I don't know if you caught sight of them, but they're just hidden slightly by the cockpit combing there so I'm just gonna try and land and also try and f focus on trying to show you there they are see them there we go right let's let's focus on the landing now instead of looking at the scenery please
And we're done. Prepare for ground operation. Okay, so let's go for engine off this time. So into idle first. Pop up to the top. We'll have the transfer pumps off. Heat off. Take the landing lights off, but we'll leave all the other flashy lights on. Just in case anyone can't actually see that there's a big spinny thing on top. How's everything coming down here? That's all good. Let's have both engines off now. Right, let's pop outside. Helicopter in position. Rear crew, clear to start operation. There we go. Hospital crew are now moving in. He's saying, here mate, how, how do you push that trolley without moving your legs? It's amazing that is, I've never noticed that before mate. Here's the boys. That's it lads, bring him out. He was just doing his impatient walk there, now he's going over, he's saying, I saw you, I saw you pushing that trolley without moving your legs, what's the trick, how do you do it? So they'll have a good old conflab about that now. He will bring over the patient and then they'll do a little swap -see. There we go. The equivalent of is your problem now, Sunshine. And that's all good to go. Now if I jump back in, uh, let's get the tablet open. So what... Uh, what will also happen now is that, and this is one of those little pieces of immersion. Patient has been deboard to the hospital. He is safe. Excellent. We have saved the day, chaps. We have saved the day. Um, yeah, what will happen now is that the uh, one of the crew members, uh, probably the doctor, I would imagine, will go off and do some paperwork. And uh, you have the option. He's just thinking about it now. He's thinking... Oh, do you know what I really fancy right now? I really just fancy doing a bit of paperwork. Who wants to fly around in helicopters when there's paperwork we can do? Uh, or shall I go fly around in a helicopter? Or shall I do paperwork? Paperwork, helicopter. Nah, paperwork. Paperwork wins every time. So there he is. He's going off to do his paperwork. Uh, wait, lads. No. No, no, no. We We, we got rid of him. That's it, off you go. None of that messing about. I thought they were going to do a sneaky one then and try and give them back to us. Anyway, so they're off to take the patient in. Uh, the lads are off to uh, to do the paperwork. We have got the option here, if we wanted to, of uh, skipping the paperwork. But who am I to deprive a good doctor of his paperwork? So, uh, are you going off to do some paperwork as well? I think what they actually do is nip around the back of the hospital and have a bacon butty and a cigarette. But uh, anyway, they're off to do the paperwork. Um, I'm not going to keep you guys waiting. Uh, this really, as far as the video goes, is the end of the mission. Um, but uh, yeah, it's all about immersion and it adds to it rather nicely, I think. So, I mean, what you could do now if you're in the sim is you could run downstairs, you could make yourself a drink, you could come back um, if you wanted to, and then you go off and do another flight. It's great. It just, uh, you can do this for hours, trust me. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful uh, little mod, and it's free. And the amount of work that uh, Andrew puts into it is just incredible, really is incredible. Anyway, thank you for uh, coming along for the flight. I hope you enjoyed it. There's plenty of other HEMS videos on the channel. If you haven't already seen them, just have a look uh, through the uh, through the video list and you'll see a whole ton of them. Um, it's one of my favourite things to do. You love it as well, don't you? Yeah, he's still not really... Uh, I think I need to send him on that interpersonal skills course again. See what comes of it. I get more out of Ducks with the Dog than I do out of you, Sunshine. Right. 
Anyway, as I say, thanks for coming along. It's been great having you on the flight, and I shall see you on the channel again soon. Take care now. Bye-bye.